Hi, this is Paris Wolf teaching cryptography. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, like, and comment if you have any questions. With advanced encryption standard, it's the current standard for symmetric encryption. It's recommended by the NIST or the National Institute of Standards and Technology. Um, they also recommend a few different encryptions, but AES is the most widely used you'll see in the USA. The block size is 128 bits, and then it has three different key sizes of the 128 bits, 192, or 256 bits. And then you'll see with those rounds, there's the 10, 12, and 14. And the key size of 128 matches up with 10 rounds, 192 means 12 rounds, and the 256 matches up with the 14 rounds. And those rounds is referring to like transformation, substitution, and all the mathematical operations that it processes. So the more times around, the more randomness the output and the stronger the encryption. Here are all the symmetric block encryptions and the memory technique of C32 braids excess. Like, see those 32 braids and there's an excess of them. IDEA. IDEA is a 64-bit block uh, with a key size of 128 bits and then it has over 17 rounds and it's free to use in non-commercial applications. And then there's RC2, RC5, and RC6. So each number is an improved version of the encryption. So RC2 versus RC5. RC5, the encryption is going to be a lot stronger. And then RC6 was an improvement over RC5. And then you can see all the different block sizes. RC2 having a 64-bit block size. A suggested minimum of 40, it's 18 rounds. RC5, a block size of 32, 64, 128 bits. A key size ranging anywhere from 0 to 2048, that's a typo there. And rounds anywhere from 0 to 255. The RC6, that has a variable, but it's common for 128 bits. And then the key size is variable, but commonly you'll see 128, 192, or 256 bits for that key size with a round of 20.